Hi, this is Nick from Canawell, coming at you today from our office in uh, Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be switching gears a little bit and we're going to take a look at a stud welder. This is our CAD 101 uh, stud welding machine. This is a, a fairly small size unit, so it's got a small footprint in your workshop, but it's pretty heavy duty. You can weld up to 5 8, 5 8 of an inch thick studs with it, or all the way down to the number 4 size studs. So it's got a pretty broad range. Um, this is pretty cool stuff. I'm not very familiar with stud welders, being a welder myself, but the part I really like is that it takes a millisecond with the capacitor discharge to uh, fasten one of these to the plate. And when you flip it over and look, even though this is pretty thick stuff, there's no discoloration or marring on the back part of it, which is really nice if underneath is gonna be the finished side of a project that you're making. Or maybe you're working on something huge and you can't get to the back of it to weld it. So now you don't have to drill holes and tap them and put bolts through and weld it from the back. You can just use something like this and you can blast yourself a stud on there and then hang whatever you need to. So I got one set up here. We got it partly taken apart so it's empty. I'm gonna show you guys how we load it and then we're gonna hit this plate with one and see what happens. So when I went out today, I bought studs that were too long. But thankfully, we're in a metal shop, so we were able to chop them down to the acceptable size for our calling. Just something to think about in case you ever buy the wrong size like I did. So here we have our collet, and we're going to take our stud, and we're going to slide it right in so it's nice and snug. We have a set screw on the back here that you will adjust if you're using different sized, different sized studs. So we'll turn this in. Okay, I know it's touching. We're going to tighten that up so it's in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in here. So now it's seated nicely inside my gun. I'm gonna grab my wrench. Make sure we're nice and tight. Okay. You see there's these little guide legs here. I've taken one off so that I can manipulate the wrench. But now we're gonna thread that back on. Now the stud we're going to be using today is 5 8 of an inch. So I've already gone ahead and I've referenced this handy chart here. So I know I'm doing steels and we got 3 8 5 16 1 quarter all the way down. So we have our machine set at roughly 170 volts. So now that it's all loaded up, we're going to press it against the metal. We're going to let all three of these legs touch. The capacitor in here is going to charge. Then we're going to pull the trigger and it's going to bang it on. So there's not too much in the way of sparks for this, but there is a fairly loud popping sound. And I do just want to make sure I have my safety glasses on, just in case. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. We're going to go ahead and touch the stud to the parent material. Then we're going to compress the strength spring. We're going to get a nice solid connection with all three legs. And then on one, two, three, we're going to pull the trigger. One, Two, three, boom. All right, so I didn't go quite tight enough. Let's grab our pliers and pull our sleeve off. And there we go. So our sleeve is back. You can see you can use this over and over and over again. Make sure you tighten it all the way, otherwise it will slip out on you, which costs a bit of time. But there we go. Now you can see our stud welded all the way around. Let's take a look at the back and see if there's any marring. So in practicing, we put three studs on this so far. And you can see here on the back, all you can see are my old TIG, TIG welds from the last video. No marring, no circles, no nothing. So a really cool little machine that can speed up things quite a bit for you if you have to put you know, anchors all over your project. Maybe you're in the food service industry, maybe you're in the electrical industry making transformer boxes. This could be a tool to really speed up your job. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. If you have any questions or comments or uh, if you have any ideas about videos that you want to see in the future, please put them, put them below. Uh, we're going to check that out and we're going to try to follow your suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. And if you're even more interested, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun.